Welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. In this video, I'll be working out the total cost of ownership of the Hyundai Kona N versus the Hyundai i30N. If I was to drive them 5,000 kilometers, 10,000 kilometers, or 20,000 kilometers a year for five years. Stick around till the end of the video to see where these two cars come in my value leaderboard. Now, this video was requested by Ravi in a previous video I did on the i30N where I compared it against the, the Golf GTI. Now before doing research for this video, I was expecting that there'd be very little difference uh, in the pricing, but I was surprised there actually was. Um, for example, one was to re in replacing the braking components. The i30N will cost me an extra $1,268 over the Kona N. Now let's jump onto the computer and start going over the figures. If you're new to my channel, I'll quickly go over my spreadsheet. Now, step one, we've got car depreciation, running costs, and finance. Step two, we've got fixed cost. And step three, we've got dimensions, weight, and performance. Now, starting off at step one, the Kona N is drinking an extra, you know, half a liter per 100 kilometers. They both cost the exact same to buy from new. And um, I'm depreciating them both by the exact same amount as well. Now, currently, a four-year-old i30N with similar kilometers and specs is selling for around the $40,000 mark. So I'm forecasting they should easily be selling for you know $35,000 in another year. We're saying that we own the vehicles for five years and we're doing 10,000 kilometers a year. Forecast and maintenance costs over the life vehicle, leaving that blank because they're both covered under the five-year manufacturer warranty. Moving on to the servicing, I'm getting an average cost per service over 10 services. Now the Kona AN actually is, you know, on average six dollars cheaper per service over the i30n they're both have to be done every 10,000 kilometers or 12 months whichever occurs first now for the purpose of this video i'm replacing everything like for like where in reality i must admit i'd be looking for cheaper tires because pirelli p0s they don't come cheap this is another area that i was actually quite surprised where there's such a big price gap and um, let me explain both cars have got pirelli p0s zero tires so the i30n is wearing 235s by 35 and a radius of 19 inch where the Kona N is running 235s by 40 and 19 inch so that 5 mil difference will set you back an extra $140 for a set of two tires now moving on to the braking components I won't go through all the braking costs here but I'll just quickly jump over to my other Excel spreadsheet where I'll show you the breakdown of the costs. So Hyundai charge $165 per hour for labor. I'm allowing one hour to replace the pads and two hours to replace the discs. This is the price of the components. Here's my total labor costs and here are them combined. So you can see that the Kona N's brake pads are a lot cheaper than the i30N's. Uh, the front discs are the exact same, but that's the only thing that, that it shares with the, the i30N. I still can't get over how expensive the brake pads are on the i30N. Okay, let's jump back over to the, the main spreadsheet. If you're enjoying this video, please give me a like. This will help my video be recommended to more people on YouTube. Thank you very much. Both cars, you have to put 95 octane fuel into it. Currently, that's costing $1.98 a litre. Finance, we're leaving this blank for now. We'll come back to it later in the video. Moving on to step two, which is fixed costs. So registration, they're both four cylinder. And the insurance is slightly cheaper in the Kona over the i30N. Overall, you're paying an extra $55.74 a year in the fixed cost department. Moving on to step three, dimensions, weight, and performance. Now this has no implication on the cost of the vehicle, but I'll go through a few of the interesting facts. Uh, they're pretty much the same in every department, except when it comes to um, the size. So uh, the Hyundai is 125 mil longer, which is that for everyone in America. The Kona is five mil wider, which is absolutely next to nothing. And the height, the Hyundai, i30 is 120 mil lower the kona is 28 kilos heavier than the i30n the moment that we've all been waiting for the total cost of ownership over five years doing 10,000 kilometers a year is drum roll 
$43,688.26 for the Kona N and the i30 N will set me back $43,548.89. So very close. There's very little in it over the five years, only $139. Down here, we've got an, a summary of all the costs. So we see that you're paying more in fuel for the Kona N and more on tires, but then it's cheaper in the servicing and uh, braking components and total fixed costs. So that's how it recouped some of its losses there. Now let's say we drive 5,000 kilometers a year. Now the Kona N is slightly cheaper. And now let's say we do 20,000 kilometers a year. Now the i30N is 557 dollars and 43 cent cheaper. Now before I move on to the finance, I'd like to let you know about a series that I've been working on. And by far, Hot Hatches have been the best performing videos on my channel. So I've decided to do a series working out which is the cheapest hot hatch to own over five years doing 13,000 kilometers a year. This is the average distance that we travel here in Australia. Let me know in the comment section below which cars you would like to include in the series. Let's try and keep the, the power output above 100 155 kilowatts are you know 110 brake horsepower if this is something that you're interested in uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification next to it that way you won't miss out on the upcoming videos now let's move on to finance we'll put this back to 10 we're saying that we're getting hundred percent finance so zero down payment over five years and that works out of being $261.15. Both cars cost the exact same amount. Oh, so over the course of the loan, I'll end up paying you know, $15,132 on interest. Uh, and this is the average amount of money that will be coming out of my pocket each week, not including the sale of the vehicle. Each video that I do takes anywhere from 10 to 12 hours to complete. And if you'd like to keep me caffeinated so that I can create more videos like this one, you can now buy me a coffee by clicking on the below link. If you end up buying me a coffee, I'll thank you in my next video that I upload. Let's see where these two cars come in my value leaderboard. Bear in mind, I'm leaving out finance and opportunity costs, and I'm saying that we're driving the vehicles 13,000 kilometers a year, which like I mentioned earlier, is the average distance that we travel here in Australia. So we see the Hyundai i30N is currently sitting in 13th position right behind the Ford Ranger Wildtrak V6 and the Hyundai Kona N is sitting in 15th position right behind the Toyota GR Corolla. If you'd like a closer look at any car in particular by all means check out their video. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.